Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode. I'm doing something a little bit different this week. I'm gonna share with you my top 10 favorite climbing videos of 2019. Obviously, I love filmmaking and I love climbing and I wanted to give a shout out to a lot of these other filmmakers out there, people that I, I respect and really enjoyed some of their content over the last year. So this is my top 10 list for that, for you to go check out. Now there's just three stipulations that I have with this list. The first being all of this content is gonna be on YouTube. I wanted it to be available for you to go watch right away if you wanted to. The second, obviously, it had to have been released in 2019. And number three, I'm not including any climber YouTuber content, even though there's a lot of great stuff out there. There's been a lot of amazing work done this year. For this, I just wanted to focus on those one-off productions. All right, and don't forget to stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna be giving away one of these really sweet chalk bags to two people. I'll tell you more about that after. Let's get started. Okay, first, I'm just gonna give a shout out to uh, Louis Parkinson, of course, and, and Dave Petz, who put together this Japanese rockumentary film. Really enjoyed it. I am definitely biased. I'm just gonna put it on there, uh, just outside the top 10 list, but I'll link it down below. You should go check it out. Japan looks amazing. It also looks incredibly hard. Okay, the next video I want to give a shout out before I get into the top 10 is this other one by a guy named, who is it by? Brian Boyd. Brian Boyd, it's got Ashima and a Zach Gala. It's Wild Boys. I guess is one of the Wild Boys. It's a fun edit. Uh, I like what he did with it. I believe he used this this camera called a Nishika camera with four lenses to do this like little GIF animation thing to spotlight the climbers as they came in, which I really liked. And then it's got Ashima making banana bread in it. It's sick. It's a good video. Go check it out on Mellow. Okay, next, here we go. Top 10. Got Blockbuster with David Fitzgerald. He's trying Big Pods V15. I guess that, that's the whole reason we climb, is to push ourselves in that way and to challenge the doubt that we have in our minds. I think that's the, that's I think why I climb. It's just a chill video, it's really well shot, it's done by Puzzle Glass, and uh, you get a cameo from Ben Moon, it's done for ben, Ben's company, but it's just really well done, really well shot, uh, nice breakdown of how he approaches climbing. It's a good one, number 10. Okay, number nine, I've got Perfecta Mundo here. It's a 515C with Stefano Gastolfi. And this climb you'll see more than once. It's a very popular one this year. Fin da quando ho iniziato a scalare, il mio obiettivo è sempre stato quello di cercare nuove sfide e superare i miei limiti, sia quelli fisici che quelli mentali. This is just a clean video, nicely put together. You should also go check out a video with Stefano back in the day, climbing at Red River Gorge, where he just crushes everything. And I think he flashes probably one of my dream climbs. It's called Thug Life. It's by the Drive-By Craig. It's a 513D. It's just amazing. Uh, super strong. But yes, Perfect Mundo, great video. And go check out the Red River Gorge one. Really good. For number eight, I've got Nale, and this video is called Live, Climb, Repeat. He's trying to do the V16 Sleepwalker. No! Oh, dude. I missed it! Dude! <laughs> I really like this one because it just shows the amount of commitment he's got towards the project. You can tell a lot went into this production because they were out there with him for a long time. Many days went into finishing this, and that can be really stressful because one, it's a lot of stress on the climber, it's stress on the production team because they don't know how long it will take or if it'll even happen, which is one of the craziest parts when you're doing something this hard. Or for any climber really, because you go out somewhere and you're trying to do something and usually the best climbs to try, the ones that are most engaging are the ones that you don't know if you can do or not. I can imagine it could, this might have been stressful on, on Nale and the team to try and get this done. So if you want to check out this one, it's Live, Climb, Repeat, and he's trying to do Sleepwalker. And again, you'll see this climb again on the list. You can tell a lot of the pro climbers must project stuff together, or find things together, because you'll see multiple repeats within the same year, which makes sense. They travel together, they work stuff out. It's always cool when you have other people that are climbing around the same grade as you, so you can project stuff and work it out. But yeah, we'll see Sleepwalker again. Number seven, number seven. This one is with Jonathan Segrist and he's in China. This video is like a beautiful travel video. It really makes me want to go to China and check out this area. If you're a sport climber, this spot looks 
amazing. Just massive tufas on this enormous cliff, this giant cave that you can just, you just want to fly a drone through and, oh my god. This one's really well shot. This one is done by Tara Kirstner. She filmed and directed this one. Well done, Tara. This one's amazing. This, this cave reminds me of a place I went to in Bulgaria. It's just, when you get these natural formations, you want to climb it. You just want to get on there and climb it. So yeah, okay, number seven, that was China. Number six, I've got two videos for number six. They're both with Jimmy Webb. I'm pretty sure they were filmed at the same time, just released separately because they're both directed by the same person, Kevin Takashi Smith. The first one's called Possessed. It's with Jimmy going around the States doing a bunch of really hard climbs as Jimmy usually does. And just like Nale, he ends up going to try Sleepwalker, trying to get the FA for that one. Really good video, check that out. And the second one is Dreamcatcher. I gotta add that in there. I used to live in Vancouver and climbed at Squamish a bunch. I love that area. And when you walk up to Dreamcatcher, it's just this awe-inspiring climb. It's so beautiful. It starts on this featureless slab and then you gotta make this crazy move over onto the overhung section. It's just a clean line and Jimmy Webb, even though he's really known for bouldering and he doesn't think he has that great of endurance. He gets on Dreamcatcher, it's a really good battle, and you should check that one out as well. Number five with Hazel Finley, and she's trying Conception, or Concepc Concepcion. This one's in Utah, it's this beautiful 70 meter crack climb, it's crazy. Um, Hazel is one of the most fearless climbers I've ever seen, and this climb looks painful really painful i'm not much of a crack climber myself but i could see why someone would want to do this one it's this amazing pure crack line it's so long that she's got to haul up extra cams throughout the climb it's, it's crazy it's pretty cool to watch and then she shares her mentality and hazel's got this amazing ability to just stay super calm and fearless when you can take some pretty big falls on something like that beautiful line good video Next, number four on my list is with Felipe. It's called Dedicate, and it's uh, The Good Fight, El Bon Combat, 515B, 9B. Obviously, a lot of these videos are done with bigger brands, so the production budget's probably pretty good to get these done, but it's nice because then you can go into more detail, and what I like about this is they go into Felipe's like background, his story starting up, and it's a Big deal because this climb that he's trying to do would be the hardest for anyone from South America. It's a really cool accomplishment. And one thing Ethan Pringle brings up in the video is just, you know, the facilities aren't quite as great as some other areas. I don't know what it's like now, but at least at the time when he was training, they weren't that great. And that could be a huge difference for a climber, just where you're climbing, what facilities you have access to. And it just goes to show if you're committed enough uh, and you have the drive, even though it's harder, you can become a crusher working out in a cellar somewhere. Um, you don't have to be at Innsbruck, even though that would help. That's uh, number four, The Good Fight. Okay, we are into the top three films, top three of the year for me. Number three, number three on my list is Night Moves, and I loved this video, loved it so much. It's done by Matty Hong, who is a crusher himself, and he makes amazing videos. This one is just stacked with strong climbers. Daniel Woods, Nina Williams, Sean Rabatou, uh, Giuliano Cameroni. It's just sick. They're in Brazil, they're doing a bunch of FAs. It's a super slick edit, great music, lots of nighttime climbing, obviously. The whole team out there crushing really hard stuff. And probably one of my favorite parts of this video is the credits at the end. Giuliano, <laughs> you should see him getting cornered by some woman. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, stop recording. Number two on my list is Rise. It's with Jacopo and he's trying to do the climb tribe. This is a trad route. It's ungraded, and some think it could be one of the hardest, if not the hardest, trad climb in the world. When I stopped competing, I asked to myself what I wanted to do in climbing, and, uh, and trad climbing was the answer. Like when I when I first tried it, I, I realized that that was exactly what I was looking for. This one is just beautifully shot, really well thought out. There's 
an amazing sequence with him at the gym, the time passing, it's very well done. One thing I want to get better at as a filmmaker is sound design. This one does it really well. Really great sequences and just, you know, and just the commitment that he's put in. He went from not really knowing trad climbing at all and working this out for six years. Six years. Ah, just unbelievable. This one is beautifully shot. The production team should be really happy about this. Um, just great story, great content. Amazing accomplishment. Go check out this one, Rise. Before we get to number one, there's two videos that I would love for you to also go check out. These two videos are not from 2019, but they're from two climbers that passed away this year. One is with Brad Gobright, and the other one is with David Lama. I first heard about Brad through the Real Rock Tour that came out this year, but I hadn't really seen him climb before. And when I heard about his accident, I wanted to go check out more and look at his stuff. I'll put a link down below to some routes he did at Indian Creek. It's a really great video. He seems like an amazing guy, obviously really strong, talented. I hope you go check out that video. For David Lama, you can search his name and find a bunch of really great climbing videos. I'm gonna link to one of my personal favorites. It's with him in Lebanon in an area called Balu Bala. It's this giant sinkhole, 255 meters deep. It's just breathtaking. I was lucky enough to go climb in Tenorin, the area before, and go visit this place. It's just mind-blowingly beautiful. That video has David projecting and trying to get the FA of a 9A route out of the gorge, and it's amazing. Definitely recommend that one. All right, and my number one, my favorite video of the year, probably no surprise, but it's Rot Punk Red Point with Alex Megos. I never thought that I would be able to push the limits of sport climbing. I mean, I was scared of failing, so I would then end up not trying certain things because I knew that I might not succeed on them. This film has everything. It's really amazing. It's got the history of red pointing with Kurt Albert and Wolfgang Gulich onto the new school climbing, the next generation with Alex Megos crushing new hard stuff. And the connection that both of these generations have, they're both super driven. And the grades have changed. They've gotten harder. We've gotten more technical and more powerful, but the drive and the vision of the climbers is the same. And that passion to keep going and keep climbing harder stuff is there. It's really great. It's directed by Ken Etzel and Chelsea Jolly, and it's edited by Khalil Hudson. Really fantastic job. One of those films that's just so good that it's hard to believe that it's just up on YouTube. Definitely my number one pick for the year. A must watch. Go watch that one. All right, that's it. That's my top 10 for the year. Do you agree? Do you disagree? That's fine. You can let me know. I didn't have time to watch every video. There's got to be some out there that I haven't seen. So if you've got one that you think should have been in the top 10, let me know down below. I'll try and check them out. And now, right now, I'm gonna do, let's do a giveaway. And we're giving away two of these amazing chalk bags. These are handmade in Germany by a viewer. Her name's Catherine. She has a company called Africat. And she customizes chalk bags. She made one for Louie and I, and we love them. So we are gonna give away two of these chalk bags to two of you. All you have to do to win is to go into the comment section down below, tell us what your climbing goal is for 2020, and tell us about another climber or person that inspires you to get better. That's all you gotta do. We're gonna pick two of you, and you'll get a nice brand new chalk bag customized from Africat. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you're having a nice break, you're getting well rested and ready for 2020, lots of crushing going on. I'm taking a bit of break right now, I'll be back in January. I have a lot of amazing content, brand new stuff coming up for the new year. Bigger, better, it's gonna be good. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the new year. Bye.